Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Five Minutes with Phil. And here we are on a Monday, not just any Monday, but today is a holiday here in the United States. It is Memorial Day. And so we want to wish everybody a very happy Memorial Day. And uh, let's be sure that we remember this day for what it really stands for, okay? This is a this is a day that we pause and we remember, uh, we memorialize the people who have given their lives so that we can enjoy the freedoms that we have here in this country. It's a lot more than cookouts and a day off of work or school. It's, uh, it's a lot more than that. And today, uh, with that whole idea of remembering and memorializing things, I can't think of a better uh, person that we can memorialize or remember than Jesus Christ. And we are actually directed to a lot of different moments in Scripture where things are put in place for us to remember what God has done or to remember uh, the sacrifice that Jesus gave us on the cross. And uh, here in the church, we uh, often use the moment where we, uh, where we celebrate communion or, or we participate in the Lord's Supper. And one of those scriptures uh, is found in 1 Corinthians chapter 11 to kind of give us this whole idea of remembering. And, and take a look what it says. Paul says, For I received from the Lord what I also passed on to you. The Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took bread. And we had given thanks. He broke it, and he said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And in the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. Now, I'm not going to uh, demonstrate communion today for this five minutes. Um, but on this day that we uh, really try to emphasize remembering the ultimate sacrifice of our soldiers and those who fought in wars and, and gave us the freedoms that we have, uh, I also want to point us in the direction of Jesus. And may we, not just when it's communion time, but may we regularly uh, pause and remember and not take for granted. May we constantly and consistently memorialize the ultimate gift that Jesus gave to us by shedding his blood on the cross and dying in my place on the cross. You have a reason to pause today and be thankful for our military's ultimate gift, absolutely, and also for Jesus' ultimate gift. Both of them result in freedom. Uh, our soldiers' gift with their lives, of their lives, results in our being able to live in the freest country in the world, in the greatest, in my opinion, the greatest country in the world. The sacrifice of Jesus' death for me also results in my freedom from sin and my ability to have a future with him at every step of the way. And when this life is over, when my life is over, I have that promise that I'll be with him forever. So on this Memorial Day, yeah, let, let's let's. Definitely, let's pause and, and be thankful for the sacrifice and the ultimate price of our soldiers. But can we also be thankful for the ultimate sacrifice and the gift of our Savior, Jesus Christ? Let's never forget. Let's never take for granted what he's done for us. 
That's my message for you today. Love you. Thanks for joining me. Lord willing, we'll see you again next time. Take care. Bye-bye.